Welcome back to the channel everybody. It's sipping and ripping again and we're gonna be giving you another new video. I uh, went to my local card shop and traded in my uh, Acunas and Otanis and picked up this. Topps Chrome Hobby Box. Um, haven't opened up a hobby box on the channel, so this is, I think, new for me. I'm not sure if it's 100 videos. I could open up some kind of hobby box of football or baseball in the past, but I haven't done one recently. It's been a lot of Kotzko, um flagships, which I have to do a lot more, so I don't know when I'm going to be uploading this one because um, I also have the two blaster video and that I got this in, Starling Marte uh, sticker auto out of 150, so if you didn't see that video, check it out. Um, two blasters. One blaster was not good. This one, the other one was good with that one. Um, but before I rip into this, uh, I just want to show off a PC of mine. Uh, William Contreras, um, PSA 10 SP um, of him. It's the only population one. It's the only um, gem in 10 for PSA. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think the Brewers need to um, build around him and Jackson Churro. And then probably our pitching, maybe get rid of Yelich. I don't know if you're a Yelich fan, I'm sorry. But maybe get rid of him and maybe like Rowdy Telez. Maybe get a big bat um, that's in there. And then have them as, you know, as a 2-3-4 punch. The big bat, Jackson Chiro, and um, William Contreras. But that's just my idea. Um, next thing up is um, going to either do two of these or a hanger box or something for the 50 subscriber giveaway. So hit that like, subscribe. And leave a comment in this video or any of the other videos to come until I hit 50. Um, then I'll put you into a running and see if you get picked. And then I'll ship this out to you free of charge. Um, probably more than just this, but I just put it there for the video's sake. And then beer of the day is Lakefront Brewery. Got these from Costco. One of my favorite breweries here in Wisconsin and of all time. Um, it's their Hazy Rabbit India Pale Ale. Pretty cool 12-ounce uh, um, can. Um, not a big IPA fan. I drank too much of it in college. Um, so it is what it is. So cheers. I mean, I like it. It's not bad. But um, a lot of hops, of course, because it's an IPA. <clears throat> a lot of Cascade hops, but... Um, just drink too much of it, and yeah, I don't want to do it anymore. So, enough talking. Let's get into it. Um, if you hear my um, daughter in the background, she's taking a nap. She might wake up just randomly or need me, so I'm sorry about that. Ooh, there's a paper cut or a cardboard cut or close to it. Did break skin. That was a close one. I hate that feeling. Oh, it's got to be one of the worst feelings in the world. Cheers not getting a cardboard cut. Yikes. This is probably the earliest I've had a beer in a long time. But it's Saturday. Probably doing something with the in-laws later playing cards. So um, let's just start, <laughs> start a little early. All right. So we're going to put this up here. Something with a fold. We'll fold it. I'm slaughtering it here. Don't know what I'm doing. I'll just keep it like that. Whatever. All right, let's get to these packs. Four cards per pack. One auto in this. We're looking for any kind of short prints or image variations, I think they're called. Um, any case hits, autos, one auto. And then usually it's two to three. Oh, it is bleeding. Dang, I was wrong. It did hurt, so. Um, usually some kind of parallels, either two to three, I think it was, maybe four, but one auto. So let's see what we can get. Oh, geez. Great card that is. Doesn't look like he's going to be playing anytime soon. Um, not hearing any reports on him. Um, it's been pretty quiet, so yeah. Feel bad for the... Um, Tampa Bay Rays, very good player. Ugh. 
Not a good start, but that's a good start. Rookie debut, Grayson Rodriguez, Refractor. And J.P. Sears. I think this is a Refractor. Okay, this is the second one. I got a Beatty, a Brett Beatty like this that doesn't have any kind of Refractor over here. But it's so much, you can tell, shinier. Is that just, is that just me? Like, is these not coming up Refractors? Huh. Well, that's different. Let's do some piles here. True Williams, okay. That is very... a mistake, pretty much. I wonder if anybody else has those, because that's the second one I have. I've had, it's like, um... What's the one that I had? Is it Mosaic Football with all the rookie cards that are all coming up for actors? Like, every single rookie card? All right, Araldus Chapman, Michael's Bush. There he is, Bush Latte, good beer. That's cheap. Um, gonna probably pull a lot of him. Vinny Pasquantino. See, it looks like it's a refractor. And they're not on there. You can tell the difference right away. This one's so much more shinier. I don't know. Let's just keep ripping. That's just unfortunate if it if it is. Like Martinez, Anthony Volpe. We're gonna find his one of one in here. <laughs> Probably not gonna happen, but if you can, that would be sweet. Because it's a hundred and twenty-five thousand for that. That's a good card there. There's a Casey Schmidt and a Mason Engler. Let's see if this one has it. Yeah, see refractor. So let's get back. Maybe not, I don't know. Maybe not so much, no, Michael Bush is not one. That one was way off, but these are the exact same. And this one has refractor and the Pasquantino doesn't. Or maybe it's just because it's the MLB debut that doesn't have it. That's what I, okay, never mind. I think I solved it, everyone. Um, but Casey Schmidt Refractor, we'll see about that. Let's get some of this stuff out of the way. Man, I can't believe I got a cardboard. This this hobby box better give me something good if it made me bleed my own blood. Cause dang, that just is unfortunate. I hate cardboard cuts. I hate paper cuts. All right, Christopher Morrell, we're getting all the. Rookie debuts, that's for sure. But that just looks like a normal one. Normal card. No refract or anything. That's an MLB debut. Kent Ameda had his Mother's Day pink in one of the Costco boxes. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, sold that one pretty quick. I think it went for like six bucks on eBay. Uh, top to bottom, maybe it's good. But I like Nolan Jones. I picked him up at the end of the season for um, fantasy baseball. And um, he just went off. He had a great end of the season. I like Nolan Jones. So I will take this all day. Casey Schmidt. I think I picked him up when he was doing good and then dropped him pretty fast. Uh, he had a good debut, and then didn't really do too much after that. We got a Titans here. Carlos Vargas. Titans of Mookie Betts. Gosh, I love the Titans inserts. Gabriel Marino. Rookie debut, and he's in his Blue Jays uniform. And the Titans card. This one is not numbered or anything because it's the white Titans, but I really like those inserts. To see the stadium where they play. <clears throat> All right, we're hitting a lot of the rookies here. Nolan Gorman. And there is our auto. Oh, Brian Rocio. Don't know anything about this guy. Gregory Soto on the refractor. And JP France had a good season. So let's just leave up him here. Um, not the one you really want. Uh, 
Oh, it's out of 499 though. It's a refractor. Didn't spot spot that right away. So hey, it makes it a little bit better. And let's put it in a bigger, bigger stock. I think this is a 59. Okay. Um, that's not bad. So we got the blue up there, and then at least it's a rookie card too. Um let's see his 2022. Need to be in play in 23. Appeared a social media buzz early in 2023 among Guardian fans who pleaded for a call up. He hit three, 338. 10 for 10 on steals. MLB Pipeline's six rated prospect made his debut as a substitute. He legged out in an out infield. All right, his average is not bad. His OPS isn't bad. His stolen bases. All right, maybe we have something here. I'll have to do some more research on him, but hey. Those are the ones you just hang on to and just hope they pan out, you know? All right, let's see what else we can get in this box. Dustin May, Bobby Miller, good one here. Good upcoming pitcher. Zach Nitto on the prism. And Col Colby Allard. So let's leave up this guy, too. Zach Neto. I know, um, is it Lucky Peter Cards? I think I already shouted him out in a previous video, but he likes Zach Neto. And, uh, yeah, we'll put that, we'll take down Casey Schmidt and put up Zach. Because he's from, like, his hometown, played him in high school or something. So that's pretty, pretty cool, rookie card prisms. All right, Taj Bradley, another up-and-coming prism. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Action stars, Julio, not the parallel. Jake Orderizzi, I think he was a timber rattler in my hometown. Not my hometown, but in the town I live in. Juan then, and this is what, the Pink Lava, I believe, of 299. Pitcher. Oh, that would be a beautiful card. What then? One then. So that is our pink there. Not looking good. Not looking good. Hopefully we get a case hit. That would be sweet. Sean Murphy. Ryan Noda. Jazz Chisholm on the action stars and Hobie Harris. Brian Rocio. I mean, batting 338 is really good in the triple A's. 10 for 10 for steals. I mean, there's a good one there. Corbin Carroll on the chrome. Jose Siri. Rob Ruffschneider on the refractor. Sorry if you can't see it if it's been out. Patrick Bailey. Good up and coming rookie there. One then. Let's get a one of one patch. Here we go, everybody. It's coming. I can feel it. Joey Wendell, Oswald Peraza. So we're getting all the rookies. I think it's pipe. Oh, that's cool. Gunnar Henderson and Vince Velasquez. Gunner on the Titans. Cool. I like me Gunner. 101 case hit. We could still get, I think, one or two more parallels. Robbie Grossman. Bobby Miller. Ooh. Is that the negative? I think those are the negatives. Those are pretty hard to get, right? Like one out of 60 packs. Michael Harris. And the action stars not getting any... Um, insert parallels but um this bobby miller is pretty cool I'm not gonna lie good upcoming pitcher there I need to get some more more things <clears throat> yeah i could do it after
there. And the negative, that's pretty cool. So I owe, I owe a lot. Not chugging IPAs anymore though. Ugh. I used to do that. It's not good. Let me tell you, next day doesn't feel right. Back in college was a different time. There is Bryce Miller. Or no, Bryce Miller. Bobby Miller. Bryce Miller. His debut. There's Michaels Bush again. Oscar Gonzalez on the refractor, so that's a good one. I'll take that. And Cody Bellinger, wonder where you're gonna go. My goodness. I swear. It's not a refractor on the back. But it's shiny like refractor. What is going on? Can anybody put in the comments what that means? Why aren't those being labeled as refractors? Speak of the devil, there's Brett Beatty. Look at that smile. Oh, I'm just so happy. Did I just hit a home run? Debut 817. Got a lot of his Bowman cards. Jose Azokar. Then we have All Star Game. Marcus Simeon. The World Series. Guy there. Dominic Smith. Um, didn't do so well in the playoffs, but then when the World Series came, he. He switched gears. He was like, I'm Marcus Simeon again. What was he, like 1 for 20 or something in the, like the, before the World Series? All right, Bryce Terang, there's my boy. His cards are going for cheap. Not the best hitter, but a really good fielder, that's for sure. Um, talked with him when he was a Timber Rattler. I have a lot of his cards, a lot of his PSA 10s, autos, Bowman's first. Mike Trout on the action stars. Garrett Acton. Need to get better at not going down here. But Mike Trout, that's cool. <clears throat> Come on. One of one. Here it is. Seth Lugo. Yuri. Have high hopes for Yuri Perez. Donovan Solano on the refractor. Don't know anything about him. He's been in the league for a while, but just don't know much about him. And Matt Mervis on the rookie debut. So Topps Chrome is a, such pretty cards. A lot better than last year's Top Chrome, that's for sure. My goodness, was that bad. I could not deal with it. And everything I pulled was a Ryan Pepiat or a Lucius Fox. Everything. Casey Schmidt, Miguel Vargas, and Kevin Kiermaier. There's the Vargas. No refractor. That is, I, that's just insane how they don't have the refractor. I mean, we're getting way too many refractors, I think. I'm making a mountain over here of, should just have a bag nearby. Louis Medina, Oakland A's. I hope the best for them when they move. Mookie Betts on the All-Star Game. And Britt Wisely, know nothing about him. Wish I could give you more info, but um, hoping good stuff comes from the A's when they move to Vegas. Hopefully they can boost up their salary and get some good players like they used to in, like, what, the 80s and 90s. Um, just nowadays, it's not there. So, Joey Ortiz, Future Stars, Adley Rushman, like that one. Don't think that's any kind of parallel insert. Randy. Randy. Quit the, quit the burgers. JJ Blade. All right. Four packs left, I believe, or five. Man, these are so much fun to open. Hoping to get something. Jason. Blake Perkins on the prism. That is a PC hit for me. Uh, we'll take that. Max Scherzer on the 35th and Jordan Walker. So you just get all the rookies in this. Um, which I'll take. But you want the big hit. You want that big one. I'm hoping Brian Rocio 
goes off this next season. Can't wait for spring training. Mason Miller, Noah Syndergaard, Luis Robert, and Ben Joyce. Just rookies after rookies. So we got a lot of prisms, a lot of refractors. We got that pink lava, the auto, and then the negative. I don't know if that counts as one, as a um, parallel. Riley Green, love Riley Green. I think he's gonna be a beast for the Detroit Tigers and Eddie Rosario. So maybe we'll get one more parallel. Maybe. We'll see. Logan Allen on the rookie card. There it is. And it's a PC hit. Devin Williams. Great closer. Didn't do so well against the Diamondbacks, though. But great closer. Jose Boo Altuve. I mean, he's such a... He's so good, but... Ugh. Rob Ruffer-Schneider again. Wait. Did we already get this guy? Or did I get him in like a parallel? Bear with me, everybody. Um, oh, yeah. They got him in the parallel. I was like, watch, I get a short print of Rob Ruff Schneider. All right. So there's our remaining refractor that we're looking for. That is a pretty card in my opinion this is the aqua at 199 very pretty we'll put that up there all right last pack everybody wish me luck here comes that one of one of a volpe right here oh it's looking like it look at that nope <laughs> it's like oh i get a prism though we'll shave that for last julian very good rookie card there Pete Alonzo, Polar Bear, and Diaz, who are you hiding? Come on. Brett Phillips. That's funny. Such a cool card. He also has, like, the leaping cards. Hilarious person, if you uh, want to look him up. Just funny. Not the best um, bat, but he's got some speed on him and great fielding. Um, let's see his averages. Yeah, look at those averages. Oof. Yeah, old Brewer there. But still, fun to pull him. Look at that smile. Funny guy. All right, so hit that like, subscribe. That would be great. Comment on the video, especially for the um, MLB debuts. Like, why aren't the refractors coming up? Refractors? I don't know. We'll see. Um, was it a great hobby box? Not so much, but hey, beggars can't be choosers, as I all say. It's actually pretty decent. We got that um, numbered auto. It's a sticker auto, though. Oh, I just realized that. Um, we got a negative, so that's cool of a rookie card. Um, and you got Juan then. I think everyone's going to be pulling Juan then. And a couple PC hits. So cheers, everyone. Hopefully you guys all pull some fire stuff out of either the hangers, black are they they're gonna be hangers? I don't even know. But are the blasters out of your uh, jumble boxes, hobby boxes, and um, the breakers delight. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in. Hit that like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.